We're out here on another day hike. You can probably hear the river behind me. Very, very beautiful area. Uh, took some time to get up here. It was kind of a rough dirt road. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people. You can actually see this guy right here behind me. Uh, it's kind of a popular trail, but uh, I think we'll get up and get a little bit of solitude. Heading up to a lake, and it's going to be a fun, fun trip. I see some people over here waiting to get over here to the river, but I think we're holding off until we film it. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice area. It's hey, kind of. So you know, uh, does this, this trail go through, or is it just like you go back to the trail? Uh, I think you need to go to the trail and head up. I think. Yeah, I think it's like this, this river and rock over here. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I think that's the way I'm going to go is just back up that lane. So, you doing like a YouTube thing or something? Yeah, I'm actually, I have a YouTube page. It's uh, Crockett 20. And, Crockett 20? Yeah, cool. I'll have to check yeah. you out. So that's just on www.crockett20.com? Yeah, or? yeah it's, well, if you go to YouTube site, you just type in Crockett 20. Look like Anyway, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Well, we'll see you. All right. Uh, anyway, did that guy look familiar? Okay, earlier you saw this guy. You could probably tell we're acting. But uh, this is the late Boy Scout. And we've hooked up and we're just heading up on a hike. Beautiful, beautiful area. And uh, he and I have discussing, have been discussing for quite some time. We wanted to get together and do some shooting or some hiking. And well, we finally got together and we're doing some hiking. Wow, good time. Beautiful up here. Very nice. You know, that's been one of the aspects of YouTube that I really didn't anticipate when I first got started in it, is the social interaction and meeting a lot of the cool people. You know, I've mentioned this probably in previous videos. I know I've mentioned it in comments, but uh, it's been a lot of fun just to meet these uh, down-to-earth people, people just like yourself, and it's been a lot of fun. Well, we decided to get off the trail, and what we're doing is we're following this river straight up. So we're just kind of boulder hopping and enjoying it. So it's nice. In fact, it's probably a lot cooler right down here by this river than it is up on the trail. So. so we're doing a little bit of this river walking as we're coming up. And we're getting to a point now where we've got two valleys, and the lake we're headed to is in one of those valleys. We've lost the trail, so we can't rely on that to bring us to that lake. So for me, this is a perfect opportunity to get the map out and kind of enhance my skills. There are some campers right over here on the other side of the camera, and there's actually a whole bunch of people right over there. So um, this is a great place and time to practice this yep. because we're not actually in any danger. Yes. You know, yep. we can. We know for a fact that we can uh, bushwhack it through the, the weeds over there and get to the trail again, because it's just right over there. But this is really just a kind of a safe, controlled opportunity to look around and get a sense for what the map is giving us and kind of compare that to what we see around us. Very well put. Some of the research I've done on map skills says that you need to find at least five points prior to looking at your map, and then once you've found five identifiable points, then you look at your map and try to match those places up. They go backwards. They look at the map first, and then they look for evidence of where they are. Yes. Rather than looking at where they are and then trying to place that on the map. Yes. It's kind of a backwards um, uh, investigate. Yep. You know? I'll leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. <laughs> you know He's that. He's been in front of my face the whole time. Oh man. Put me in front of your face. That's better. Okay, so we've got off the main river here and we've bushwhacked a little bit. 
across a lot of boggy areas and little streams like this and we think we are just about connected to the main trail again. But uh, this is one of my favorite things to do is to bushwhack and again it's just kind of testing your your directional skills, your map reading skills, and it's just plain fun. And again in a controlled environment where you're not in any real danger. Yes. And that's then you build that confidence so when you get to that point you've got that training and experience to draw back on. Well, what do you think, Scout? I'm um, really glad we took this trail today. It's gorgeous. Don't you agree? It is beautiful. I love when you get up to these these heights and you can just look back down the valley and just see all of that right there. Mm -hmm. We're sort of in a hollow that's going, going further and further up. It'll lead us to lake number one. And then uh, all goes well, head up to lake number two after that. So we're almost to the lake, the first one. And uh, I'm just taking a little break, getting something to eat, refueling a little bit. And uh, I'm just kind of asking Scout here about some of his, he's got a knife on him, kind of a bigger knife. And yeah. We know you guys love it, we love it, just seeing what other people have. And This is the Cold Steel Recon Tonto. As you can see I blasted through quite a bit of wood with it. Nice and beat up. I actually bought it used, so it had a little bit of wear on the tip when I bought it. I think the fellow before me was more into stabbing stuff. <laughs> and I was in the market for the Cold Steel SRK, um, you know, which is like 60 bucks retail or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I found this on a local classified site for like, I think he was asking 40 bucks and I talked him down to 30. Hmm. So nice. 30 bucks for, this is almost the equivalent of the SRK. Actually, it's a little bit longer, and the steel is about as the same thickness, I'm pretty sure. Just a different blade shape, mainly. How do you like the, the uh, is this the Tonto, is that yeah. what they refer to? Yeah. How do you like that? For what I use it for, it's perfectly Great. fine. It's almost nicer because you've got all this flat edge here that doesn't beat up your batoning stick quite right. as much. It doesn't ding it and chop divots into it right. as you're whacking it down. Well, it does, but just not as much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I bought it for. I'm sure this is made for, you know, combat and all that stuff, but I don't do much combat. So. Destination arrived. It's a gorgeous area. Look at these just granite cliffs up above us. That is just gorgeous. Here we have the late boy scout and the lake. Again, I'll take my ugly mug out. You know, when I come up here to these kind of places, I just get that kind of giddiness, you know, that, that uh, fun childhood energy that returns and, and in all honesty I still think of myself as young, very young, but uh, it's just fun, you know, coming up here, experiencing all this, and of course coming up with cool people, uh, with the late Boy Scout, it's just a lot of fun, you know, making these type of memories and, uh, you know, I, sometimes I feel like a broken record in my videos because you know, I say beautiful and gorgeous a lot when I come up to these places, but that's what they are. Just beautiful and gorgeous. Lots of fun. And it gives me, you know, that almost revitalizes the spirit, the body, the mind. And it's kind of fun that way.
said, this is the upside to your platypus connection. You can hook it straight onto that, whereas I've got to pump it inside from here, because there's no kind of connection like that right here. Yeah. No sort of but even so, we were just talking earlier about um, how this catadine, 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 whatever system works and how it pumps in. And I, I really like this system. It's like a gulp of water with every pump. Yeah. You know, not yeah. just a little sip. You know, I'm still playing around with this, uh, getting to know it, and it's one of those pieces of gear that the more I use it, the more I like it. I think I'm sold, man. The next $65 I have, yeah. how much it costs, I'm going towards this. Parting shots of the lake. Late Boy Scout and myself had some lunch up, oh, let's see, probably behind this this little mountain right here, oh, up over. Right yeah. yeah. And uh, we're just heading back. And it's warmed up. You know, it's still not bad, but uh, a little warmer than it was this morning. And lots of fun was had. Yeah.